Hello everyone, welcome back again to FN Engineering channel. Today, we are going to show the overview of material properties data based on ESME section 2 part D, especially in the metric unit. Before we continue, please support this channel by subscribing FN Engineering channel and like our video. Thank you. Alright, here are the main part data in SME section 2D metric. There are three subparts of this material. Firstly, subpart 1 is regarding stress table, such as lower stress, descent stress, and others. Then, subpart 2 is about physical properties table, such as density of material, modulus elasticity, and others. In the last, subpart 3 is regarding charts and tables for determine shell thickness of component, especially for external pressure. Alright, go to the next material. Here are the list of data in the tables of subpart 1. Table 1 is lower stress data for SME section 1, SME section 3, class 2 and class 3, section 8, division 1, and section 12. For ferrous material, we use table 1A. Meanwhile, for non-ferrous material, we use table 1B. Next, table 2 is data to find design stress intensity for some division of section 3 and section 8 division 2. Then, for bolting materials, we can find a lower stress in table 3. For design stress intensity, we can find on table 4. Moreover, if we design the vessel using section 8 division 2, we have to use a lower stress in table 5. Lastly, table 6 is lower stress for ESME section 4 or for heating boilers. In addition, in subplot 1, there is table U and table Y. Table U is the table to find tensile strength at design temperature. Meanwhile, table U2 is especially for tensile strength using SME section 8 division 3. Moreover, table Y1 is the table to find yield strength at design temperature. And table Y2 is data to know limiting permanent strain of the material. Next, in this material is overview data in subpart 2 or physical properties of the material, such as table TE for thermal expansion data, table TCD for thermal conductivity and thermal diffusivity, table TM for modulus of elasticity and table VRD for quotient ratio and density of the material. In the last subpart is subpart 3. Subpart 3 is a field graphic to design a vessel under external pressure. Figure G is graphic to find factor A or geometric chart of the shell or tubes. The other figure are chart to find factor B of external pressure. We have some graphic based on the type of material and the strength of the material. For detail, you can see in this presentation, such as figure GS for carbon steel material data, figure HT for low alloy steel data, figure HI for stainless steel data, figure CI for cast iron data, CD for cast ductile iron data, figure NFA for aluminum alloy data, figure NFC for copper alloy data. 
Then, Pijur NFN for nickel alloy data, Pijur NFT for titanium alloy data, and the last, Pijur NFZ for zirconium alloy data. Well, in the next material, we will show how to find some data from SME section 2D. Here are the properties data commonly used in the design of pressure vessels. The common properties data are global stress at design temperature, yield strength at design temperature, tensile strength at design temperature, density of the material, factor E to design external pressure, and factor B also to design external pressure. However, this material will be discussed in the next video, inshallah. So, Keep stay on FN Engineering channel. Alright everyone, thank you for watching our video. If you have some comments or suggestions, please write on the comment column. And if you get something new from this video, please like our video, subscribing FN Engineering channel, and turn on the notification from this channel to get updated video from FN Engineering channel. See you next time.